All clad or Cephalon hard anodized. Which one is better? Is non-stick safe? These are some of the topics we will touch on on this video. This review, information and opinions are going to be based mostly on the 10 inch skillet that Cephalon and All clad make. I will go over what I like about each and what I don't. As you can see I have many all clad and Cephalon pans. I have cooked with these for several years and my review will reflect this. I didn't just buy some pans and did a review on it. I actually used this stuff. Again this review is going to be based on the 10 inch hard anodized skillet. So in order to continue we should know a little bit about what hard anodized is. Basically it's when aluminum has been electrolytic meaning electric current has passed through the cookware material. It creates a corrosion resistant barrier, making the aluminum stronger. This process was invented by Cephalon in 1968. And you can see how it works in this diagram. Hard anodized gives cookware its distinct gray looking color. This is why you will not see hard anodized in a different color. Hard anodized is hotter than aluminum alone. Heats more quickly and evenly. One of the drawbacks is that it will not work on induction cooktops. However, some manufacturers like Allclad have fixed this by adding a steel plate at the bottom that works with induction. In this review I'm using the Cephalon Signature Series and the Allclad HA1. One thing I really like about the Cephalon is the handles. These handles are comfortable and very ergonomic. The all clad handles on the HA1 are not as ergonomic as the Cephalon and are harder to balance in your hand. And your hand will get more fatigued using these handles. Again these all clad handles are not very comfortable but they are meant to be used with a grip pad or towel like in professional kitchens. All clad has fixed these handles with the B1 series and I highly recommend that you get those instead. Not only are the handles on the Cephalon better in my opinion, in this case Cephalon uses 3 rivets and All Clad uses 2. So hard anodized is not non-stick, there seems to be some confusion when it comes to that. But again hard anodized is not non-stick. On non-stick pans a Teflon or PTFE is used to create the non-stick surface. Teflon is a trademark but it's essentially the same thing as PTFE and non-stick is either Teflon, PTFE or ceramic. The problem with ceramic it's not as good as the Teflon coating or the generic PTFE. We can see the differences in these 10 inch pans. You can see that the Cephalon is a little narrower than the all clad. Cephalon also flares out a little bit more and it's not as deep. One of the problems with hard anodized is that it doesn't work with induction. All clad has got around this by installing a steel plate on the bottom of the pan. And as you can see here, Cephalon does not have a steel plate. As you can see, I have used these pans on a daily basis. By the way, even with non-stick coating, you need to use a little bit of oil or butter, just not as much as a regular pan. Cleaning these pans is easy. Just wipe them clean with some water after they have cooled down a little. Both brands are dishwasher safe. I do put these on the dishwasher sometimes and I never had an issue. These are really easy to clean thanks to the non-stick coating on these pans. Just a little water and soap after they cool down and you're good to go. So again these are dishwasher safe and I have put them in the dishwasher many times and I never had any issues with it. They're easy to clean. Uh, the best thing to do is wait till they cool down and just wipe it clean with some water and soap. Both Allclad and Cephalon claim that you can use metal utensils on here and I have used metal utensils but you can see that it does scratch and I suggest that you use like a wooden spatula but they claim you can use metal utensils which I have but again they will scratch up the non-stick coating when you use metal utensils. Even though these are both 10 inch skillets the Allclad holds a little bit more volume which is probably why I currently use it a little bit more. It can hold 6 cups of water on the old clad and only 4 cups of water on the Cephalon and they're both 10 inch skillets. It doesn't necessarily mean that they hold the same volume so I found that the all clad holds a little bit more volume than a Cephalon. So I'm going to share my experience with a Cephalon warranty. So you can see my pans are beat up from improper use and improper cleaning and I just set them to the side and I forgot about these pans because I wasn't using these because they're so beat up and obviously you should never let your pans or use your pans in this condition but uh, they were beat up, they were set to the side and one day I was on a Cephalon website and I noticed that they have a lifetime warranty and I began reading about it and I was like hmm, I wonder if Cephalon is going to honor um, 
this lifetime warranty and give me new pants, even though these are severely beat up. So I went to the website, filled the warranty information, and then I got approved to send these in. So long and behold, they sent me everything back. They sent me all brand new pants, no questions asked. And what they didn't have to replace what I sent them, they replaced it with something better or something of similar value. So they were very good. They really didn't make a big fuss about it. They just made me fill out the warranty card. Uh, they gave me a warranty label, I shipped everything to Cafalon, and they shipped everything back. Now prior to sending these in, when you fill the warranty information, they want you to take pictures and upload the pictures, so they did see this before I sent it in. And I was really surprised by this, uh, how easy it is and how effortless Cafalon made it to replace these pants. And once you fill out the warranty card, you get uh, some instructions and where to mail it in. And basically you just pay for shipping, you put it in the mail, and you wait a few weeks, and uh, they will send you something back. So here you can see the pants that I'm returning, they're severely beat up, but that's what I sent them. Alright, so after sending uh, my old pots back to Keflon, I just received another package. And uh, I sent them a 12 inch frying pan and a 10 inch, they didn't have a 12 inch, so they substituted with something else. So they gave me this thing right here, Signature Series, and um, we'll a little pin it up and see what we have here. It's a bonus on it. This is definitely not the one I had, but if they don't have it, they'll substitute for something else. So let's see what we have here. And there it is. It's a pretty good pan basically like a paella pan I guess you would call it so the pan that I sent in did not have the lid so they gave me a nice lid a uh, really nice durable looking lid and heavy so again you know they uh, really know how to take care of customers and they gave me this pan uh, they sent it to me no questions asked I mean it took a little bit of time it took about a month for them to send it to me but they as they get them they've been sending it to me and it's really hard to find companies that will do that these days that will honor their warranty and send you uh, this stuff so I'm actually really happy with um, the way this company has been treating me so Cafalon went ahead and honored their lifetime warranty no questions asked so they really did do a great job and I'm really grateful that uh, they replaced my pants and I must say that dealing with Cafalon was a great experience and they treated me well and they held true to their warranty, their lifetime warranty. Now, when it comes to the all clad hard anodized, we have the HA1 and the B1 series. This review will be based on the all clad HA1. One of the things I don't like about the HA1 is the handles. On both the hard anodized and the stainless cookware, the handles are very uncomfortable and hurt your hand after a while. I would definitely recommend the B1 series just because of the handles, they're more comfortable. There's a great site called prudentreviews.com that has a lot more information on these pants and it goes over the HA1 and B1 differences. Check out the site prudentreviews.com. So as far as construction, they're pretty much the same. The all clad and the Cafalon have great construction. I would say that uh, the all clad might be a little bit better. They have the heat plate on the bottom which works with induction and you can't get that on Cafalon. Cafalon doesn't have that. But then again, you look at the rivets on the handle, Cafalon is using three, all clad is using two. Overall, when it comes to quality and the way that these pans are built, they're very similar to each other. Both these pans are built with great material and because of that, they make great pans. So I don't have experience with the all clad uh, warranty, but all clad offers the same limited lifetime warranty and the process is the same. You go over to the website, you get approved to send in your pots and pans and they replace them. Now, looking at the all-clad website, it does look like that they go through your pots and pans a little bit closer than uh, Cafalon, and they want to make sure that they haven't been abused in order to replace them. So it seems to me that the all-clad warranty uh, is a little bit more involved, and they're not as forgiving as the uh, Cafalon is. So I think if I was to send those pans that I sent to Cafalon over to all-clad, they would probably be rejected. Uh, so that's the that's the difference that I can see again I haven't sent anything to all clad but that's what I gather from going on the all clad website and looking to what they approve and what they, they don't approve and you can see there's a long list here of exclusions that they don't want and some of these even include normal product wear and tear so I, I don't really know what 
that means or what's going on as far as what they take and what they don't take but it seems like all clad is a little bit more particular on what they receive and what they're going to honor as far as the warranty but again with all clad it seems like it's a little bit more involving if you're watching this and you dealt with all clad and you dealt with their warranty process leave a comment let us know So which one is better? Well, it all depends on personal preference. I would say it depends what's on sale at the time when you go and buy these pants. I've been using both these pants and both are great pants. I find myself using the uh, all clad pan a lot only because it uh, holds a little bit more volume even though it's the same 10 inch pan as the Cathlon. It has the heat plate on the bottom. But don't get me wrong, I like the Cathlon too. The all clad is a little bit heavier. The handle is not as ergonomic. Uh, I like the Cathlon handle a little bit better. It's lighter pan. Uh, they both do a great job when it comes to non-stick. I don't think there's a difference between the Cathlon non-stick and the all-clad non-stick. It works very similar. Now, as far as the companies, again, I've dealt more with Cathlon. I think they're great, but I have lots and lots of pans uh, that are made by all-clad and the performance has always been there. If you're a novice and you're starting off, what I would tend to do is probably go ahead and buy some Cathlon pans. They're cheaper, they're a little bit lighter, and the handle on the pan is a lot more ergonomic than the all-clad handle. I'm going to leave a chart here at the end with the differences and similarities about these pans, and I'm going to let you make the decision. For me, I think both of them are great pans, and I think all comes down to what's on sale, what can you afford, and what's available. If you made it this far, I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the video, what I got wrong, what I got right, what you liked, what you didn't like. And check out my channel for more videos. I make videos about everything and anything. It's your boy, the P to the A. We'll see you on the next one.